let me tell you a little about what we learned. We learned that communities are passionate about their farm to school efforts and work hard to overcome challenges. Open and clear communication among all parties is essential for success. Inadequacies in local supply chains like production volume and quality, processing and storage often present challenges for farm to school. And USDA's attention to local and regional food systems has given credibility to local efforts. While we found on our site, billet, site visits that individual farm to school initiatives vary widely, several common needs came up over and over. School told, schools told us that they need funding to support farm to school related initiatives and infrastructure, such as equipment for storing, processing, and preparing local products. Schools need better understanding of child nutrition program procurement requirements. Schools need farm to school stakeholder meetings at the local, state, regional, and national levels. Schools need better awareness of USDA efforts to support local and regional food systems. And schools need evaluations of the impact of farm to school on farmers, food service, and student behaviors. Let me assure you that USDA is ready to help. For our part, what did we internalize from these findings? We understand that procurement and geographic preference are challenges. During our visits, many school purchasers told us that they need clarity on how to buy food from local farms for their students. We hear what you've been saying, and I want you to know that guidance is there for you. Please check USDA's Farm to School website. You'll find guidance complete with Q&A on how to use the geographic preference option in your purchases. The option was authorized under the 2008 Farm Bill and we issued the final rule this past April. The Farm to School report also tells us that schools want a sharper picture of the impact of farm to school efforts at the national level. In this vein, USDA's first Farm to School Census Survey will be coming out in this next school year. Right now, we just have anecdotal evidence that farm to school activities improve school nutrition, create opportunities for farmers, and boost local economies. Well, that's not good enough. We need a much more comprehensive understanding. As schools increasingly participate in farm to school, we need a baseline of in-depth information on farm to school nationwide. We'll work with state child nutrition directors to distribute the survey to school districts, and I encourage 100% participation. Please help us out on that. As we move forward with farm to school at USDA, this will help us identify needs, target resources, and help you include fresh locally grown foods in school meals. As a side note, I also want you to know that we've just posted online an annotated bibliography to accompany this farm to school report. Till now, information on farm to school has been scattered and difficult to track down. This bibliography looks at authoritative sources of information and provides solid peer-reviewed literature on projects at all levels. I'm truly delighted that our National Ag Library is making that available to you. Taken together, these efforts will be leaps forward in the body of information that's now available on the nation's farm to school activities. Running parallel to this work, USDA is constantly exploring how we can do more to increase access to fresh produce for our schools. This is an ongoing and proactive effort. And today I'm pleased to announce one important result, a fresh fruit and, uh, and vegetable pilot that will test a new purchasing and distribution model. This pilot is a collaboration between USDA and the states of Michigan and Florida at the request of a number of schools in those states. The schools and states are excited about it, and so are we. Along with increasing access to fresh fruits and vegetables, the pilot aims to increase the options for obtaining them. Among the pilot's benefits, schools can use entitlement dollars for fresh fruit and vegetable purchases and receive products through commercial distribution channels. Schools will use their distributor of choice. I have a few fans out there, that's good. Schools will be able to use their distributor of choice, giving them more control over the product and level of service. It will also allow schools to emphasize buying locally grown as we continue to build these farm to school activities. Complementing this work is another creative effort that's new and proving successful. Purchasing two ounce bags of fresh cut apples and baby carrots and we're expanding to seedless grapes. Yeah. <laughs> They're efficient and a real plus for schools trying to minimize labor costs, yet provide fresh cut fruits and vegetables. 
This is just another way we're expanding our offerings of healthy and user-friendly foods, and I don't have to tell you how popular these items are with kids. Please let us know how these products are doing in your schools. It's your feedback that moves us to the next steps. We hear you and want to be responsive to your needs. Again, my thanks to each of you for helping us meet the President's historic goals with historic victory. On behalf of USDA, I look forward to our continued partnership as we work together to raise a healthier generation of kids. Thank you very much.